Hey there, fellow internet addicts. Oh, yeah. You know, Reddit went down hard yesterday, right? Yeah, what a mess. Even Down Detector. Oh, yeah. That website that tracks outages. Right. Had his chart looking like a heart attack patient's EKG. Oh, my goodness. As reports flooded in. Absolutely. But you sent us some articles asking for the inside scoop. So let's deep dive. Okay. Into the why, the how, and the what if of oh, this yeah. whole digital debacle. It really does make you think, doesn't it? I mean, Reddit going down is more than just oh, yeah. missing out on your daily dose of memes. Hey, before we continue, remember to subscribe to stay informed. Good idea. Okay, so yeah. let's set the stage here. Okay. For anyone who might be living under a rock, right. what exactly IFO this Reddit thing? Yeah. And why should we care that it went offline? Think of it as a massive online forum. Okay. But instead of just one giant chat room, mm -hmm. it's broken down into these hyper-specific communities right. called subreddits. You can find communities for literally anything you can think of. It's crazy, right? Like from news and politics to knitting and cat pictures. Oh, yeah? And when a platform that diverse yeah. with millions of users right. suddenly goes dark, well, yeah. it's kind of a big deal. Right, because it's not just about entertainment. No. Remember the GameStop stock saga a few years back? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Reddit was a major player in that. Huge. Showing how these online spaces right. can have a real impact on the offline world. Absolutely. So yeah. let's get into the timeline of the outage itself. Okay. This Tech Radar article you've got lays it all out. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. So? It all started Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Eastern time. Huh? With the first reports of problems trickling in. Okay. And as you might expect, people immediately flock to other platforms. Oh, yeah? Places like what used to be Twitter. Right. To share their panic and, let's be honest, a little schadenfreude. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There were some hilarious tweets going around. Oh, I'm sure. I saw one with a screenshot of the GameStop stock ticker and the caption, I hear Reddit is down. Oh, wow. Y'all know what that means. Oh, that's funny. But the real story is what was happening behind the scenes. Right. Reddit's official communication was pretty minimal. Yeah. Basically just a, we're working on it tweet. Classic. Meanwhile, yeah. this article describes the situation as a roller coaster of recovery and relapse. Oh, really? Some parts of the site coming back online. Only to crash again minutes later. Oh, no. They even use the analogy of whack-a-mole. Oh, that's a good one. To describe the tech team trying to fix these issues as they popped up. Oh, gosh. So we've got panic users, cryptic official statements, uh -huh. and a tech team battling invisible gremlins. Sounds about right. Sounds like a typical Wednesday on the internet, right? Totally. I think. But seriously, what could actually cause an outage of this scale? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Reddit's a pretty big operation. Well, you have to understand that even the most sophisticated online platforms right. are built on complex systems yeah. with a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Any one of those parts can malfunction right. or get overloaded, okay. leading to a cascade of problems. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But can we get a little more specific? Sure. This article throws around a few possibilities, right. but doesn't really dive deep. Okay. What are the most likely culprits? in a situation like this. Yeah. Based on your expertise. Let's start with the basics. Okay. Server overload is always a possibility. Right. Especially with a platform as massive as Reddit. Uh -huh. If there's a sudden surge in traffic, say yeah. from a major news event. Okay. Or ironically, a popular AMA. Oh yeah. It can overwhelm the servers. Yeah. Leading to slowdowns or even crashes. Right. So too many people trying to access the site at once. Right. Makes sense. Exactly. What else could be at play here? Then there's the possibility of a DDoS attack. That stands for Distributed Denial of Service. Okay. It's basically a malicious attempt to flood a website with traffic. Wow. From multiple sources. Right. Overloading its servers and causing it to crash. So like a coordinated attack. Exactly. Wow. These attacks are becoming increasingly common and sophisticated. Oh, no. And... They can be incredibly difficult to defend against. And then, of course, yeah. there are software glitches. Right. Even a tiny bug in the code <laughs> can have a ripple effect, okay. causing major problems throughout the system. Yeah. Think of it like a single domino tipping over oh, yeah. and setting off a chain reaction. So it could be an internal problem. Right. Or an external attack. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, yeah. maybe a vengeful AI decided it was tired of cat memes. Sure. 
but without any official word from Red. It's all just speculation at this point. Exactly. And that's where things get interesting. Okay. This Tech Radar article mentions that Bluesky, Bluesky, a newer decentralized platform, often seen as a Twitter alternative, yeah, was also experiencing outages oh, wow. around the same time. Interesting. Now that's just too perfect, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the universe was trying to tell us to log off and go outside for a while. Right. But for those who might not be familiar with Bluesky, yeah. can you give us a quick rundown? Sure. Bluesky is built on this idea of a federated social network, okay. meaning it's not controlled by a single company right. like Twitter or Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's more like a network of interconnected servers, Okay. each run by different individuals or organizations. Yeah. And while this decentralized approach has its advantages, right. it also means that a surge in popularity, mm. like the one Bluesky's been experiencing, uh -huh. can put a strain on the network's resources. So it's like a bunch of independent servers all trying to work together, right? and sometimes they get overwhelmed. Exactly. Sounds like a recipe for potential chaos. It can be, but it also highlights the fact that there's no one-size-fits-all solution right. when it comes to online platforms. Uh -huh. Centralized platforms like Reddit yeah. might be more vulnerable to DDoS attacks, okay. while decentralized platforms like Bluesky right. might struggle to keep up with rapid growth. Yeah. It's a constant balancing act. Speaking of balancing acts, yeah. this Tech Radar article also mentions something that I found particularly interesting oh. and maybe a little suspicious. Okay. Apparently, Katie Couric. Katie Couric was doing a Reddit AMA what? on the very same day as the outage. Now, that is an interesting coincidence. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that Katie Couric single-handedly brought down Reddit. Right. But it does make you wonder if the increased traffic from her AMA uh -huh. could have contributed to the instability. It's certainly possible. Mm. Large events like AMAs yeah. can draw a huge influx of users to a platform. Right. And if the infrastructure isn't prepared to handle that surge, uh -huh. it can lead to problems. So maybe Katie Couric was the digital straw that broke the Reddit camel's back. Oh my goodness. We may never know for sure. Right. But you know, this whole situation really highlights something yeah. that's been on my mind a lot lately. Yeah. The importance of communication. Oh, yeah. Especially during these kinds of outages. I couldn't agree more. Even if they can't give us all the technical details right away, yeah. a little more transparency from Reddit would have been appreciated. Oh, absolutely. Just acknowledging the different issues they were facing mm. or giving us a more detailed timeline for recovery right. would have gone a long way. Right. It's like, we get it. Things break sometimes. Yeah. But just tell us what's going on. Don't leave us hanging in the digital void. Exactly. It's about managing expectations and building trust. Yeah. When a platform goes silent during an outage. Right. It creates this vacuum uh -huh. that gets filled with speculation and anxiety. And sometimes a healthy dose of paranoia. For sure. But let's step back for a minute and look at the bigger picture here. Right. What are the key takeaways from this whole Reddit roller coaster? Yeah. What can we as users learn from this experience? Well, first and foremost, I think it's a stark reminder uh -huh. of how fragile our online world can be. Right. We rely on these platforms yeah. for information, uh -huh. entertainment, and connection. Yeah. But they're not invincible. No. They can and do go down. And when they do, it can have a ripple effect okay. throughout our lives. It's like we take these platforms for granted until they're suddenly gone. Exactly. And then we realize just how much we depend on them. Absolutely. And it's not just about missing out on our daily dose of memes. Right. Or cat videos. Yeah. Think about the businesses that rely on Reddit. Oh, yeah. For marketing or customer support. Yeah. Think about the communities that use it for organizing events uh -huh. or supporting each other through difficult times. Right. An outage like this can have a real impact. It's a good reminder to diversify our online experiences, I guess. I think so. Not put all our digital eggs in one basket, so to speak. Exactly. Explore different platforms. Yeah. Try new things. Okay. And maybe even consider spending a little less time online altogether. Okay, now you're just being radical. I know, right? But speaking of exploring new things. Yeah. You know what this whole Reddit situation got me thinking about? What's that? What if Reddit never came back online? Oh, wow. What if it just vanished. Ooh, that's an interesting thought experiment. Go on. Imagine a world without Reddit. Okay. No more scrolling through your favorite subreddits. Uh-huh. 
No more arguing with strangers in the comments section. Right. No more endlessly browsing raw yeah. for your daily dose of cuteness. It's a strange thought, isn't it? I know, right? Where would we go to get our news? Yeah. Where would those niche communities migrate to? Right. Would meme culture even exist as we know it? It's almost impossible to imagine the internet without Reddit. It really is. And that's kind of the point, right? Yeah. This outage, as frustrating as it was, huh? gave us a glimpse into a world yeah. where things we take for granted can disappear in an instant. It's a reminder to appreciate what we have while we have it. Oh, yeah, for sure. And to maybe start thinking about how we'd adapt uh -huh. if the digital landscape suddenly shifted beneath our feet. So, dear listeners, we leave you with that somewhat unsettling thought. Right. What would your online life look like Yeah. without your platform of choice? Mm -hmm. Head down to the comments and let us know. Good idea. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Of course. For more deep dives into the weird and wonderful world of the internet. It really is a question worth pondering. Yeah. And who knows? Huh? Maybe this whole Reddit outage yeah. will inspire some people uh -huh. to diversify their online lives a bit. You mean actually log off and like... Well, touch probably. grass. Maybe not that drastic. Okay. But at least explore some new platforms. <laughs> See what else is out there. Yeah. We tend to get stuck in our routines. Yeah. Even online. True. True. Yeah. But hey, at least Reddit's back up and running now. I know, right? So yeah. we can all go back to our regularly scheduled doom scrolling. Huh. The comforts of the familiar. <sighs> but seriously, yeah. this outage was a good reminder that the internet, yeah. for all its wonders, is still a work in progress. Yeah. And maybe we shouldn't take it for granted so much. No. I mean, imagine trying to explain this whole situation yeah, no, for someone they, from like the 90s. They really think we were making it all up. Right. Like, yeah. you, you're telling me millions of people panicked. Right. Because they couldn't access a website yeah. dedicated to cat pictures and arguments about video games. It does sound a bit absurd when you put it that way, yeah. but it speaks to the power uh -huh. these platforms have in our lives. Right. They're more than just websites. Yeah. They're communities, yeah. sources of information, and even extensions of ourselves. Well said. And on that note, yeah. I think it's time to wrap up this deep dive okay. into the Reddit abyss. The Reddit abyss. I like know. that. Any final words of wisdom for our listeners? Sure. Before we sign off? Just this. Okay. Be mindful of your online habits. Okay. Explore new things. Uh -huh. And remember that the internet, for right. all its permanence, right. can be a surprisingly fickle beast. Words to live by in the digital age. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us on this journey, everyone. Yeah, thanks for listening. We'll be back next time. See ya. With another deep dive. Bye. Into the strange and fascinating world of the internet. If you're enjoying these podcasts, make sure to subscribe. Thanks once again, and we'll see you soon.